Hey there, YouTubers, it's Interactive White Box, and I'm here with my next video, which I am returning to the Lyra Cyberpunk uh, multiplayer map that I started working on a while ago. And uh, the reason why I wanted to come to this uh, project is because I really like the game mechanics that Lyra has, and I really wanted to return to this to try to um, just add more to this and see, you know, what what I can do to kind of just improve this map overall. So before we kind of jump into this, I do want to kind of take a few notes on a few things that I did. And I wanted to really update the, the AI. So one of the things is I, I added a lot more players to the game uh, than I previously had in this. This might be a, a bit loud, but I'll, I'll try to kind of talk my way through this. So, um, I added more players to the game, and then I also went in, and, and I can kind of show you what I did as well. Um, but I lowered the accuracy a, a little bit to these, uh, to these NPCs, because I just felt like before they were really killing me, very accurately and I, I wanted to add some inaccuracy um, to the to the the AI I, might, I don't know if I'll change this later down the road if, if I feel like it I was kind of in a, a bad position right there so that definitely felt like I, felt. I should have uh, been there but I don't know, I really want to play around with like the actual accuracy of the of the AI, so I did that. And another thing that, um, actually, I'll try to see if I can kind of show this. But I also added where the enemy players, um, they should be able to, um, like forget about you because I think the way that this uh, Lyra starter pack is set up by default is that uh, these players will relentlessly go after you if they spot you. Um, but there is a, a check mark that I checked that allows them to forget about uh, still actors. So I can kind of show you where I edited all of this. So. In the, um, I think it's project settings. If you go down to, uh, in your pro project settings, if you go to AI system, <coughs> if you're working with, um, Lyra and you feel like the, the AI is just being very relentless, chasing you down, um, try to check this for got stale actors. Um, that will allow the actors to not pursue you and then um i also went in and i i also disabled the the music that was playing because i felt like the music was a, a bit much but i also um went in and let me see if i can find where where it's at yeah so i added some logic here that um affects the, the AI accuracy. So I'm not gonna get too far in depth with this. Uh, I'm actually going to probably just uh, send you a link in the description to a video that I saw. And um, let me see if I can um, find what her, her name was and give her a shout out. Cause I, I think the video that I saw was really great. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of went off of uh, Nance Dev Diaries video. Um, she has some really great Lyra videos, so I'll, I'll post a link to her channel down below. But um, you know, go go ahead and check her out because I, I think she has some great um, Lyra stuff uh, in there that I'm I'm interested in, in watching and seeing. You know how I can improve the AI stuff to this. But with that in mind. I think uh, that's kind of a, a good update 
to kind of spruce up this project and, and make it feel better to play on the AI stuff, but that's not really what I want to focus on. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been coughing a lot. Um, I want to, you know, get into the level design. So, um, kind of playing this, one of the things that I, I really noticed about what I have is that my spawn points are, are kind of out of whack. I'm not really happy with my spawn points because I feel like everybody on this side is spawning here <coughs> and they're all kind of funneling through this middle section and what it's doing is it's causing just a, a giant traffic jam and it's funneling all of the NPCs uh, through a very narrow path. So I'm going to see what I can do to kind of change around the, the spawn points. And again, uh, there might be some uh, like AI behavior that I can um, kind of research uh, off video and, and see if there's any way to like uh, enhance the, the AI um, crowding like this. But <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at all of the different... Um, all of the different things. Is there a... I thought there was a... Oh, I think it's... I think it's in select. I guess not. But we have... Um, we have these four spawners right here for that team. And then we have... A spawner there, a spawner there, and I believe, yeah, a spawner there. <coughs> so I really kind of want to, um, I kind of want to spread these out uh, a good amount. So I don't want to spawn, um, I, I, I don't know, I just, I want to put some of these spawns way back here. So what I'm going to do is for this spawner right here, I'm going to go ahead and move that over to this back corner here. And of course, you know, you'll have to go and and really adjust um, the positioning. And I could probably turn on some sort of like visual aid. Um, but I think this will do for now. <coughs> And I'll just kind of place it in the middle here. I think this is a really good spawn point. So another place that I want to kind of try to look for is somewhere that, you know, is not going to be directly, di somewhere that's not going to be directly uh, in the middle of the, the place. I want to try to give the sense that, um, you know, there's different players in different spots. I think this is another kind of nice area that we could put a spawn point in. Um, it's kind of on the side and it's, you know, there's kind of a, a jump pad here that you can jump up. Um, there's also um, this area right here. And we might even, um, no, I don't want to put it too close to an actual spawn point. I know that this is kind of close, so we might think about moving this um, <coughs> maybe even right here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not too... I don't know if I like that right there being, that, being right there, so I might change this to... Um, change this to just be like right here and and of course I'm not really too I don't really like a lot of these just kind of samey corridor areas I really want to try to like spruce up this sort of area um it's gonna be really hard to you know have a lot of action going uh, happening in this area since there's not a lot of uh things going on in here but I think that's fine um, and again, I, I hope that like placing the spawn point right here will allow 
um, you know, especially the start of the match to, to not feel so clustered. <coughs> so I'm going to go to my second uh, player start. And I'm just going to place that spawn point somewhere else. And yeah, I just really hope that these uh, new spawn points are really going to help um, more areas of the map breathe. Oh. Also, really try to pay attention to make sure that you're not putting your spawn points in weird places like I just tried to um, accidentally. But I think with that in mind, um, we're just going to place this over here, uh, move this down, just move around the point, make sure that it's in the right place. And again, when we need to move this for some reason. Um, we can, but hopefully uh, it won't be too bad. <coughs> hopefully no like clipping issues or anything will happen. So um, that's something that we might just need to um, make sure doesn't happen. So we have, um, you know, we have a, a spawn point here, like right, right here. And then we have a spawn point down there. Um, I'm not even really opposed to having uh, a spawn point over here. I think we can just make this a spawn point. <coughs> Again, you know, we might want to have a player directly coming into this. Uh, that might not be the end of the world, so I, I can live with that. And another kind of thing that I want to uh, play around with is um, this over here. Um, we could also place um, a spawn point either on here. Um, but I kind of like the idea of placing it actually up here. And again, um, you know, we can always change these later if need be, but <coughs> I kind of like, I kind of like the idea of having different heights, different areas, getting, um, different spawn points, kind of different, um, you know, areas that they could tackle. So I like with this one, like you could probably just go through here and capture this. Um, you could also, I don't know if an NPC would do it, but I could see an actual pl pl um, player coming down here and just cutting through and trying to, uh, you know, get to the, the kind of the the hideout here um, I think that's reasonable and the same with this um and actually because we have this spawn point here um, you know we might have someone who just goes directly to this or they can just come up here and jump up uh, but we do have a spawn point here and I'm not entirely sure um, if I want to have that so close to the spawn point down here that's something that we might have to kind of consider and think about <coughs> but i also don't want to move this all the way well i don't know i mean well we'll uh we'll come back to this i i really like the spawn points that i chose for this side so with that in mind, let's uh, really um, change these over here and see what we can do with this. Um, I think this one we could keep over here. I think that's not a bad spawn point. Um, this kind of goes in line, I think, with the one on the other team for over here. So I'm happy with that. Um, we might place this kind of more in the middle there. <coughs> With this next one, um, I mean, there's so many different options we can take, um, but I kind of, 
I'm, I'm kind of liking this uh, this room right here might be a, a nice area to spawn at again um, you know you can I, I don't know if someone is gonna just drop down and then go straight for this one or they could just uh, you know jump this little area and just go straight for this so I'm trying to I'm trying to, you know, break kind of the flow up of, especially just the um, normal enemies because, yeah, they're, it's just too much going in the middle when the initial game starts. <coughs> so I have this, um, again, I can kind of look and see um, what, what I'm working with. Um, we have a spawn point here, and then we have I kind of like this area being a spawn point. Um, I might place this spawn point in this uh, room over here. Maybe like down here. I think that's a pretty reasonable place. Um, I know I'm just trying to think of like areas that they can go down. Um, and if we go into modeling, I'll see if I can like do this. I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully this won't. <coughs> I'll just get rid of those, uh, make kind of a, a better doorway, but, um, I don't know what the heck that's all about. Okay. I don't know if that was there before, but yeah, we have a spawn point where, um, Gosh, I'm gonna go back to my spawn points. Where are they? I have to search for them. No, it's a. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Okay, so where was this at? Yeah, so this is right here, so there's, um, you know, an option to go down here and go straight to that. Um, there's also an option just to go out here and then just go for whatever. So I think that's a pretty good spawn point. Um, we have one right there. We have one right there. You know what? I might just place this. I might just place this kind of just right, right here. Um, it is a little bit more uh, direct with that, but you could also have someone just kind of come here as well and just go through and cut to the middle one. So we kind of have all of our spawn points, I think, in pretty good spots. <coughs> now let's test this, because I really want to um, test this out and make sure that this isn't, you know, doing a lot of crazy stuff. So I'll go ahead and play this. So I now spawn in this area. I might go through and see, we have a lot of guys going over there. And again, we want to check the balancing. Um, I don't want to have one team to have a bigger advantage over the other. <laughs> so I think before with the the way that the spawning was working, we was real we were really giving the blue team an advantage. But now it seems like we've kind of reversed 
the spawn points to, to give the red team an advantage. So we might, again, this might be different with actual players. Um, and with AI, it might be a little bit more predictable. So it's going to be kind of vital to really test this with other players if this was a, a real game. But I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of, of, of the blue just not really having a good shot. <coughs> so I might re-evaluate some of these spawn points. So we have this right here. We have that down there, which I wasn't entirely um, opposed to. And where was that one? That one was right there and then Wait, I'm so confused. Okay. One, we have it right there. Two, we have it down there. Three, I have it right there. And then four is up here. So I wonder if I should, um, let, let's just move this over and see what that does. <coughs> I know this is kind of, I feel like this may be kind of cutting into their territory a little bit, but I want to see, you know, if that does anything. And then of course we have, um, that one there, that one up there, that down there. And that right there yeah like I feel like they're all uh, closed together so I don't necessarily hate that one um, that one I feel like could stay maybe um, I feel like I feel like this guy is not going to have a good time though. So I might to give this guy some support because we have another guy spawning right here. Um, I might just go through and change this and see if I can get a spawn point here. <coughs> That will maybe hopefully split up some of this. Um, and you know what? I, I think I'm going to just move this guy over, over here, like down. I don't, I don't know. Is that a, let's try it. Let's try up here. I, I don't like down here because it's like the very same uh, level as that guy, but I'm just trying to like spread this out a little bit, but try not to put everybody so close to, um, you know, spawn point. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save all, and I'm going to try to play this again so we have a few people going there So the blue team does have the advantage right now. Um, our, our red team is kind of taking over, but they're really, I mean, they're really clumped together. I feel like there's going to have to be a way in the, um, I feel like I'm going to have to figure out a way to change like the AI through the actual like AI in the back end. So um, that's all I might have to kind of explore, but. I don't know. I'm 
I, I do like the spawn points. I do feel like uh, guys are kind of more spread out. Um, and I don't know if that's just kind of a, a situation, but... That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, it's fun playing this game. So definitely, like... And we could also put a spawn point, like, down here. This might not be a bad area, too, to, to place someone down. Especially um, since another, yeah, I, I think what I might do is, um, I might see what team, what which team is down here. I want to see because I think that might be kind of a, a nice area for spawn point. Though, uh, the problem is, is that, where is, where is, okay. Are they not? Hold on. Are the spawn points... Are they tied to a specific team? <coughs> game mode. Default gameplay experience. I don't know if they're actually tied to a team or not. They might be just random points. Or no, I think what it I think what it does is it like splits it up. So I don't think like these specific points are actually tied to like a team, but I think that the the I think the starter the, the Lyra pack, I think what it does is it does something that will just split the map up. And like spawn, so I don't know. I find that very interesting. So I might take an, an existing. Uh... <coughs> oh God, dang! I might take one of these spawn points. I'm not too uh, thrilled with. Actually, I think this would be good for this one. And what I'm gonna do is I just wanna place this, um, and you know what? We might also add more spawn points too. That might actually not be a bad idea. Because I think what we're doing is we're, um, we might, we might add more spawn points because I feel like what's going on is we're just, we're, we have, uh, eight in total, which was the old amount of players that we had. And now since we have 12, we might add four more. Because I think that's what's causing a few of the um, a few of the players to be kind of like bunched up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add some more spawn points. This might be just a video <laughs> of me placing spawn points and trying to fix like the problems with the spawning. Because I feel like that was a that's just a, a huge issue. <coughs> so. We have, oh, oh my gosh, start, there we go. So we have this, um, I just wanted to have the <coughs> players start with a health pack, uh, a health pack kind of next to them, especially considering that they probably won't need it uh, at the very start, but what, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy um, spawn points and I'm just going to place, I'm, I'm just going to place more around and see if that will help 
a lot. So I am going to put one right here. Um, again, it is kind of close to the um, one over here, but I, I, I don't think that will be the end of the world. <coughs> I just want to check to make sure that I'm accounting for different areas. So we got that covered right there, um, that covered right there. Um, we have that one up there. Where's this one? Oh, it's right there. It's down in the electronics store. <coughs> we have that one on the outside, which I'm fine with. We have that one, that one. I have that one over there. I might add Add one there. Add one in the middle. Again, I don't know if this is actually going to be like better, but <coughs> okay, so let me kind of count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the other side, a one, two, three, four, Five. So we need one more spawn point on this side. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and copy this one. I'm just going to place it down here. Play this outliner. Can I? And hopefully, this will uh, feel a lot more better to play. So, I think I'm going to play this one more time and then um, I'm going to kind of wrap it up after that. So, uh, let me play this one more time and see how I, I do. So, yeah, there's a lot more kind of. Areas split up. Of course, I'm probably gonna not do very well going into this middle area, but. I might go over here and. grenades by the way again everything's kind of like they're kind of crowding crowding out so I don't know I might have to play around with the uh, back end AI and, and see you know what I can do to just better uh, flesh it out because yeah my team is really doing very well so <laughs> I tried to uh, I try to balance it out I don't know I might play again just to see if um just to see if it changes 
at all. Oh yeah, now they're getting points. I don't know where that person went, but... Oh my gosh. I'm holding down the line. Woo! That was nice! I love when I do well at uh, the levels that I'm making. <laughs> tight around here, but I mean, I feel like there's a lot of, like, open areas, and there's a lot of those, those areas. Hell yeah. I just find it very fun. But yeah, I think, um, I think that I have no idea what those errors are, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching. I think this was a great kind of um, splash episode uh, coming back into Lyra. I haven't touched this in a while, so, um, you know, I, I think this is a fine start. Um, hopefully next time we come back to this, we'll start to really think about uh, kind of these just blank areas like this right here. Looks terrible. So, um... Yeah, um, I'm very excited to work more on this. But anyway, if you like this content and um, you uh, want to check out more videos, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, like. And if you have any feedback or any suggestions or any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, uh, I look forward to uh, my next video. Uh, I think next video is going to be Horizon. I'm doing some back-end stuff. I'm trying to implement some uh, additional systems. Um, it may kind of work. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'll have to do some work on, on, on that before I make my next uh, episode. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.